Well, yeah, one. Is it five seconds? Good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Old Barn Beer Review. You have Rhino, Nick from Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews is there. Guy's right here. Radar's coming down the stairs. This is the beer that Guy brought. This is from Dominion City. It's the first beer I've ever had from Dominion City. Dominion City is in Ottawa. This is 6.4% alcohol. This is a barrel-aged Earl Grey marmalade saison. There's a lot of shit going on in there. Okay, we, we took some Earl Grey tea. We took some marmalade. We made a saison with it. Then we threw it in a barrel. Oh, and we re-fermented it in the bottle. Oh. Okay. I've had the original. Oh, it seasoned. Is it seasoned? Earl yeah. Grey marmalade. What? Very Is it sweet. Seasoned? Oh no, you're not in the frame. Yeah, let's see if I can pull it back. There you go. Just don't go any further this way. Don't go anywhere. I like that. Thank you. Oh, I guess Nick wants some. Of course. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Fucking barrel aged tourist. Mercy. You are so very welcome, sir. Muy bueno. Mm -hmm. So, in all honesty, keeping boxes of leftover cups is useful at times. <laughs> Alrighty. So obviously uh, it did have sludge in it because they get darker as we went further down the bottle. Just look at those Ooh, floaters. Oh yeah. Get some sea monkeys in there. Just a bright white head. A little bit of snap crackle pop. Oh god. The Earl Grey just pops oh on that. God. I love Earl Grey. I, I actually love Earl Grey too. I actually ordered Earl Grey at a restaurant a little while back and they're like, how do you like it? I'm like, hot. Earl Grey. Hot. Earl <laughs> Grey tea. Hot. <laughs> Yeah, but really all I'm getting is Earl Grey and like a little bit of that white pepper that you get from the Saison. Mm. When I was pouring it, I could smell something really sweet, which I thought was a marmalade, but I can't smell it on the beer itself. But that's okay. How about yourselves? What are you smelling? Earl Grey. Oh, oh man. Earl Grey. Burger. I think Radar's actually smelling uh, Burger bon Du Maurier. Yeah, yeah no. Du Maurier uh, is, I guess that's... Uh, it's um, Palm Oil. Blue, right away. <laughs> I, more, I was thinking more like uh, the Serono or something, like something orange. It's got, you get the dis the bergamot orange from the Earl Grey. But you actually you can smell like an after sweetness after it. It's crazy. Let's try it. Sweet. Cheers. Oh, very effervescent, oh, nice. but like micro bubbles. Mmm. The Earl Grey again pops. You get that. Mm -hmm. You get that like earthy tea bitterness on the back end. You get the beautiful Earl Grey forefront. Um, I'm picking up sweetness, but I'm not really picking up orange per se, like orange jam per se. But I'm not. I'm not taking any fruit at all. I think the Earl Grey is actually pretty uh, dominant in this taste. Very herbal. It's like almost yeah. dry, but it gets wet again. Yeah. Uh, and I'm, I'm not sure if that dryness is fully the, just the Earl Grey tea, or if it's the Saison yeast, or if it's the barrel itself. I can't differentiate which it is because there's so many things in here that could actually make it dry. Did they say what kind of barrel they used? Nope. I would almost guess a, uh, a white wine barrel. Mm. <laughs> because it does have that, like, <laughs> back of the tongue almost puckering dryness. Yeah. Not very, not aged for very long. I mean, the biggest note you get off of that is the Earl Grey, of course. Mm -hmm. And there's that, uh, like, the coriander or something from the, uh, the, the Saison part. For me, it's it's not quite coriander because it doesn't have the sweetness. I'd say more like cloves. It's more the drying okay. on the back end. But, I mean, we all pick up different things. I'm almost getting, like, the seasoning kind of. Anyway, whatever. Like a seasoning kind of a... Uh... Like the seasoning and the aftertaste, and it almost kind of makes me think of coriander. Okay, yeah. Almost like a honey aftertaste. No, I don't think so. Yeah. If, if I was going to go with honey, and I don't personally think it is, but maybe clover honey because it's not really a sweet. 
but yeah, for me, uh, for me, it's it's a majority majority Earl Grey, okay. and a few saison and drying ends, and I'm actually 100% okay with that. I actually really like this. I don't find much to come out of it with the barrel, but I'm okay with that too. Very enjoyable. It is. It's it's, it's nice. quite enjoyable. I mean. And it's 6.4% alcohol, so we're not looking at one of those, and that's barrel age 6.4% alcohol, so we're not looking at a saison that started at like 9%, or 1105, or anything like that. Um, closer to what a saison should be, sure, it's 2 or 3% higher than what I would love, mm -hmm. but whatever. Well, they said it was like 6.8, wasn't it? 6.4. 6.4, four. Six four. yeah, that's kind of strong for a saison. Well, it's, it's low for a saison following the BGCP saison rules. But um, high for a saison if you follow the historic rules. Mm. But it doesn't even matter. I really like the beer. I'd give this an eight out of ten. I find it super enjoyable. And even a seven hundred fifty milliliter bottle, I can drink the whole bottle without a problem. Same, we give it an eight out of ten. Really good. Yep. I give it a seven five. Uh, I'm getting more. Like I am getting the Earl Grey. I absolutely fucking love that Earl Grey. I'm not getting enough barrel or the right kind of barrels to suit my flavor. Other than that, it's good beer. I'm not much of an old grey fan. I'm mm. not a herbal tea or any tea fan, but I actually like this beer pretty good. Oh. I'm actually going to give it a good 7.9. Yeah. I mean, I, I personally, I love real grey. It's my favorite kind of tea. So, But this is, this is a good beer. Awesome. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, Dee. Thank you, Dominion Cities. Bye-bye.